Okay, the clock is running, and this is the uh, 33rd video of uh, the uh, battles of Quate Bra and uh, Lene. They're the first two battles of uh, Napoleon's Waterloo campaign. And we are playing the French against an artificial intelligence employee, or not employee, uh, artificial intelligence opponent. And uh, the game uh, time is June 16th, 1815, 8.15 p.m. Turn 26 out of 36. It is now turned into dusk, and the visibility is only 4 hex. Um, we are in the French melee phase. Okay, I've got to adjust two settings here. Turn off objectives. And turn on map elevations. Okay, so we can't see too far, but we can see far enough to melee. Now let's use the jump map and go to Quadra make sure we've taken care of uh, any melees there. Yeah, that's okay up there. And that's done there. It looks like we have. Oh, this whole pocket has been wiped out now. That'll free up a lot of units. Okay, let's teleport back to uh, Lene, or Ligne, as I like to call it. Let's see if we've got any hand-to-hand -hand combat going on. Oh, I think we did all the cavalry stuff here. Now, this is too big to melee. We've got to know what the melee and what not the melee. I think we're done. Let's go on to the next phase, which is allied movement. Let's see what he's going to do. We're up at Lene. And he's moving something, but I can't see what it is. Here we go. Oh, he moved some artillery down right in front of these guys. And it's still limbered. Well, that's not going to end well. Not in front of Calvary. All right. So here's where his active power is. Okay, he's coming down here with some Calvary. Well, good luck. He either gets to charge a square or uh, skirmishes in the woods. Either way, he's going to be disordered. And I won't have to worry about that Calvary uh, regiment. Can't see what else he's doing. Okay, down here in Lene, he's just moving some miscellaneous units here. Okay, he's over here. These guys are ungrouping and moving to the north. Okay, what's he doing with his artillery? Okay, he wants to shoot at me. Oh, God, if this only lasted a couple turns longer, I have a feeling next turn will be night. But see, this artillery unit is, he has his back to me, so I'll move one unit up there and melee it. Okay, so he's doing stuff out of my line of sight. Yeah, must be doing a fair amount of movement that I can't see. 
but I can only see four hexes. So, okay, we're down here. Supply unit disappears. I guess he's gone back and huddled with these other units here. Oh, French defensive fire. Okay. Uh, let's go to Quad Abroad and see what we've got going on. Okay, we got this cavalry in here, so everybody's going to fire at him. We'll take this outlying square. Ten men, not too bad. Four, not too bad for skirmisher, so that's 20 men. Less he has. See if I can fire at this uh, artillery unit. Nope, we got to remember to turn turn that battery, but it won't do much good at night. Okay. Nothing up there. Oh, so that unit that was in the woods over here didn't move way down there. Hmm. There goes the furnace. God, I wish it'd warm him up around here. Well, that's interesting. He got off the main road I'm using to go back here to a road I'm not using. I like that. All right, let's go to Lene. Nobody popped up here. Okay. Oh, got a mounted unit there, not undisordered, but I've got a disordered column, but I'm still gonna fire on him. Well, I got two men. Two men. Nothing to brag about. And I've got all cavalry around here, so really no firing. I've got a couple of line units here. 41 men, excellent. Shooting, 19, pretty good. So we whittled him down. Got a couple of line units here. 54, oh, 17. Well, that was pretty good. Pioneer is in line. He isn't much, but he might get a couple men. Seven, yeah. Guys in column. Line, okay. Like these guys in line, 23, 15. What the hell is this guy? I can't even see my own men, huh? That's odd. That looks like about it for firing. Allied offensive fire. Okay, five men. I'm going to get nailed by this artillery. Fourteen. One man. No effect. One man. Well, that's the way it is in woods. No effect. No effect. No effect. No effect. Okay. No effect. Eight men. Twenty-six. Oh, now we're going to get it. Four. Three, twenty-nine, yeah, one, sixteen, oh, those line units are killers, two, twenty-eight, ah, now the artillery's going to nail me, four, that's it, oh, the artillery's all pointed the wrong way, ah, oh, too bad, allied melee, okay, he went in the woods to melee me, Christ, he lost big, too. Gotta see if there's any way to hang that melee up. It goes too fast. Okay, he got the worst of it up there too. Well, that wasn't much. Now movement. Well, it's 8.30 p.m. and the visibility dropped one hex, which is, it's dusk. Ah, huh. well, it said dusk was 8.30. Maybe it goes dark at uh, 8.45, I guess we'll see, but it gives me one more move. So, let's see if I can do some damage here. Now, this cavalry 
regiment is disordered. That really just pissed away that cavalry unit for nothing. All he did was push a skirmisher back and he still got uh, my outlying uh, square which he's not going to be able to do anything against being disordered. Got any more cavalry here? Well, at least not within three hexes of me. Okay. Now, this battery, I'm going to finally move. One click to the right, so have, hopefully I can ah, fire on this guy over there. And, uh, what else do I have artillery? Oh, I've got some limbered artillery right here. put him so I can fire up the slot. Let's see if I can unlimber him. Oh yeah. Now ah, we'll see how you like staying there. It's too bad it's going to be dark in another turn. Okay, we've got an artillery unit here. Oh, it's disordered and it's limbered so he really can't shoot at me. I'm disordered with both those units. Now with all three here, but I'm still going to charge him. Well, I can't charge him. I'm going to melee with him. Let me put it that way. Let's see if I can move this guy to stack with him. No. So I'll just turn him. Let's see if I can push this skirmisher out of the way. up there so he doesn't interfere with my artillery. Now oh, these guys. He had four battalions there but now there's only two that I can see. Uh-oh. I'm disordered there but not there. I'm going to charge him. Oh, here's a Lancer. All oh, right, I love those guys. Now we're going to set up for a charge with the Lancers. What do we got here? Okay, I can charge with both of these guys. Uh, so guess what? I will. We'll give him a goodbye kiss. And he's a Lancer. All right, those Lancers are deadly on the charge. Uh, so we'll take those two guys under fire. Uh, this guy's disordered, and I'm going to move him up here to hold this high ground. Okay, so that's going good. This guy's in line. Let's see if he can make this hex. Yeah! I love it. This guy's in line. And I'm going to turn him one click to the left. He's going to hold that high ground. And I'm going to put the artillery under him. And the artillery I can unlimber let's see if I can point him one click to the right oh yeah okay and then I'm gonna put this line unit under the artillery I always oh, I don't have enough movement it looks like oh maybe not yeah so I can see it So I don't know if there's anything up here I can't see, but I'm going to be ready for it. Okay, so. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is going to get very dicey here, moving around without knowing what's what. I pretty much know there's nothing up there. So we'll move our artillery up here. And since it's horse artillery, I'll put this cavalry. Oh, no, I won't. Well, I'll move him up here so I can see what's coming. And then I'll move this infantry up here. I guess I can move. Oh, I hate these skirmishers. I shouldn't have put that guy in the road. I'll contain what's ever here and then I'll start moving on the flank here. He's pretty weak. I'll see if I can just move these guys towards that artillery. I'll move the supply unit up behind him. Oop, got a cavalry unit. Ah, he's disordered. We are going to turn his flank big time. Oh. Should have taken this skirmisher away from this area. That was not a good thing to do. It allowed me use of this road to go north, which is a good thing for me. Okay, we got those guys in motion. Okay, I'll get off the road with that guy. Pretty sure this guy's a skirmisher. We'll soon find out, I guess. Well, no, I won't. I'm not going to go down there to hell with it. Not with these guys. I'll go down there with somebody else. It's a shame this is a path and not a road, but we'll get through it. Let's see if I can send these skirmishers down here to limit what it can do. Now they, oh, this guy will move. This guy doesn't want to move. Okay. This guy's disordered. We'll move him here anyway, see how far I can move. Okay, this cavalry's disordered. This cavalry's disordered. Well, let's move him next to the road when he gets undisordered. He'll or the path. He'll be able to hop on there. Okay. Oh, this guy's not disordered. So let's go up here. And push out. We got three hexes, one, two, three. I'll just be out of his line of sight, which is good. Maybe I can creep up on him in dark, in the dark, and we'll melee him. Okay, we'll turn him. Um, one click to the left. up there. We'll turn them one click to the left. Okay, so these these two guys will go at him. We'll see if he's still there. He's limbered so he can get away if he wants to. Let me send a supply unit up 
with these guys since I have so many of them. All these officers will send them up there too. Let's see if we can get this guy off the road. Yep. Okay, so now we'll do some movement up the pike here. Ah, uh, this guy's disordered. Well, I'm going to move him out here as a flank protector. And then we'll move this guy in column over here, just in case. And this guy's disordered. Oh, this is a Lancer. Well, move him somewhere. This is another mounted guy. We actually don't need any mounted guys in the woods. Uh, I'll move this guy up here. We got a lot of depth here. He's not going to do anything. He might get lucky, but it's not going to do him much good. God, this skirmisher is still routed. He's been routed for about 10 moves. And I've got... Uh, couple units in column here in reserve and I've got another mounted man well let's send him where he can do some use around to this flank this other mounted guy too as far as he can go. Okay, this guy's in column. Away he goes. Now, this wad of guys. Oh, that guy is uh, good to go. So let's get everybody on the pike. This is nice interior lines, and I've got a pike going up and to the flank. Could not ask for more than that. All right, all these guys I'm going to have to get in column so they can move on the road, but we'll get them going. And he's limbered. That's handy. column. Get a lot of these guys away. He's in limber. He's limbered. Excellent. He's in column. Well, we're getting some good news here. Very good news. Bad news is the game is probably going to end in a couple turns. It actually has nine more turns to go. I suspect they'll probably go through darkness, which is worthless, but maybe not. Who knows? I think visibility goes down to two hexes, as I recall. So at 845, I'll be able to see two hexes, which will facilitate my movement because there's nothing that's going to block it, I don't think. I think I rubbed it all out. But if it gets to be dark, that's that'll be bad news. Okay, all these guys are in column so far. That is so excellent. Yeah, he's disordered. Disordered. Well, we got one guy here that isn't disordered. How nice. Let's get him rolling. And got a supply unit which I should form an army of supply units like uh, the artificial intelligence does I've got all of mine plus all of his okay this guy's in line so he's got to go in column ah and these guys are in column well that's good news Now, these guys are probably still disordered. Yep, 
disordered, disordered. This guy isn't. He's a big boy, 625. Woo. Let's send him down there. This guy's good to go. We'll line these guys up next to the road. Wow. In the final event, I didn't have very many guys disordered here. That's what you want when you have combat. You want to bring as many uh, men to bear as you can because if you don't and the odds are close, you'll get disordered, which is never a pleasant thing. Because you can see these three guys have been disordered for a long time. Who knows when they're going to recover. That means they move at half movement and they have some disadvantages when attacking. And if they're cavalry, they can't charge which is the main value of cavalry, its charge bonus, which triples the combat strength. Okay, I do believe everything's moved here, so Quarter Bra is in good shape. Let's zap over to Lene. Okay, these three guys, or all these guys are doing okay there. I don't think anything's behind them. And anything that goes for them has to come up this road. Now, this artillery, uh, it's too bad this cavalry is disordered. Well, first of all, this artillery is not facing me, which was not a good thing, because I'm going to melee him. And this guy's disordered. This guy's not. So, he can't fire at me, so... With a little luck, I'll get that artillery unit. Now this one is pointed down in this direction, so this guy is behind him. So I'm going to go down there. Fortunately, he's uh, not disordered. He's going to melee this guy. Oh, look at this. He's behind this artillery unit. And one of these boys can charge. Must have recovered. So I'll melee this one. So I'll be meleeing three artillery units. That'll cut him down to size. Now, we've got a disordered cavalry unit here. What's behind here? An undisordered one. Okay. And we've got a disordered one here. So I'm disordered. But this guy can charge, which he will. I'm going to compress these guys. I don't know how much good it'll do. Oh! Um, undisordered mounted unit. Fancy that. Ah, uh, nuts. A disordered lancer. Oh, what a shame. But this guy can charge. So he'll charge this disordered cavalry. Likely as not, he'll they'll push him back. See, this is another pocket I'm going to have. No, I don't think I'm going to have... Well, he's disordered. I'm not going to have the movement points. I'll leave them there, I guess. Eh, nuts. Otherwise, I'd, think, I'd see if I could get behind this artillery unit and melee him. I'd have to go over this ridge. Now, this guy can charge... And although I'm li likely to get blasted by this artillery, I'm going to go for it. Because if I survive, he's going to be sorry. Okay, come on. Highlight it. Charge! This is my last hurrah. Boom. Now this guy... 
this guy's disordered so let's move them up here so I can see what there is to see here down in this direction and we've got a line unit here and two cavalry regiments one of which is a lancer I can't resist this another charge ah shit well I shouldn't talk like that <sighs> my lancer became disordered oh mercy he was the one I was counting on uh, uh, so he's kind of worthless now and he was A plus. How the hell does an A plus unit get disordered? Beats me. Well, I'm going to still try to charge him with these two units here. Nowhere good as the Lancer. Uh, he can charge. That's something. Eh, what a shame. It always happens that way. I don't know why. Okay, he's disordered, so he's just going to go out here, basically. This guy's in square, so. I'll just hold the line here so nothing slips through in, in the night. Okay, so. Oh, I got this cavalry. What to do with them? What to do with them? Oh, and I got these units up here. Let's not forget all this stuff. Move this guy through the woods. No. These are all leaders. Worthless. This guy's in column. Kind of far away. I'd love to put this cavalry on the road right there but I'm not going to put it there by itself still got melee okay now I got these guys up here oh mounted oh he can Come on, you can go around here. He might be useful to close that road. This is another mounted guy. Let's see if I can turn him. Yeah, now. If this battalion, he's only 376 men, if he doesn't rub out this um, artillery battery next turn, assuming I can still see this guy, I think it goes down to two hexes, which I can. I can charge him. So that'll be a good thing. These are all mounted guys here, huh? So I'm going to move this guy around, do some flanking. And this guy is going to go in the low ground again to charge this guy if this guy, this battalion doesn't finish him off. So. Uh, I've still got this engineer here. I don't know how strong he is in line. So I can't put my artillery up on this high ground. Unless I move this guy in to cover for him, which I think I'll do. Yeah! I think I can stack my artillery with him if he isn't too big. 
and he isn't oh that is so wonderful okay so next turn I can unlimber it and then start well I shouldn't say that I'm getting all excited here the next turn is likely to be two hex visibility okay I'm gonna move this guy up there and take this supply unit move him down right there so this engineer doesn't get any ideas and come up here to try to melee that guy move this unit this is supply unit down here I got that supply coming out of my yin yang short on units here. Well, I got a cavalry unit here. Okay. I don't especially like doing this, but I'm going to put him up on high ground and I'm going to put a supply unit under him just to give him a little defensive power. And then I'm going to move this cavalry unit down. Jeez, let's see if I can stack. No, I don't think two movement points. Nope, I ran out. Okay, so that's good. Now this guy's got a column under him. Put this horse artillery. Uh, he's too big. I can't stack with him. So I can stack with him. Nope. Guys are just too big. Oh, he's got a lancer here. That's not good. Let's see if I can go in a square. Ah, oh, Jesus! Why? Why? This guy goes disordered when I try to put him in square. I suppose he's A plus. Well, he's a C. He's a C. Boy, if that isn't the pits, two key. Oh, that is hugely disappointing. That is so disappointing. I'm ready to cry. I'll put a supply unit behind him. And this guy's small potatoes, but I'll bring him down here. Maybe he can block someone. Okay, these guys are all set in there. Jeez, let me check the time here to see what we're looking at. Oh, let me get this out. Oh, come on. Jesus. Oh, 38 minutes. That's good. So, about 5.15. That'll be the end of the game. Okay. Okay. Now, we're going to take this battery and move them down here. Give us some firepower in the south. And we got an unknown here. And I'm thinking it might be infantry. But, oh, I've only got 162 men. Well, even if I charge them, it's not going to be that effective. Okay, let's see. Disordered column. Disordered line. 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 Got a routed column. And two routed columns. Well, we want, we certainly want to wade into that. So I'm going to turn this guy. And 
move them into firing position. And this guy I'm going to use as a flank guard. So he's disordered and in line. Oh, he can still fire though. Oh, so we've got a supply unit and a skirmisher, and these guys are finally identified. Three routed columns. Boy, his army's in tattered, in tatters. Well, you know what? Even if he's 163 men, I'm going to charge. Bang. Okay, so we got a line here. This guy's in line. Oh, he's perfectly set up to slip in there. This guy's in line. This guy's in line. This, this, this artificial intelligence fights like Napoleon. He keeps everybody in column until they get disordered and they can't move out of column. Okay, so we'll give these guys some musket balls to chew on. Meanwhile, got some reinforcements here. Two. Oh, we just closed some other guys here. But it's a bunch of guys hiding here. They're all disordered or routed. Ah, if I only had like two or three more turns of daylight, I could pick off all these guys. Okay, this guy's in column. Good. He'll start slipping up there. Then I'll bring up this artillery. What's this guy doing? Oh, he's in. We got a square here, and I'm in line. Yeah. He can fire at a quarter value of his column value. Maybe it's a quarter of the line value, but I can, I can dish it out more. So I'm glad to go up against that kind of situation. Okay, all we've got is the junk out here. Okay, he's got a disordered column, and he's done me the favor of uh, of uh, scrunching up here. Oh, this guy's not disordered. Boom, let's move him up there. We'll dust off this uh, supply unit. Now, how do we get around this guy? Well, he's pointed in this direction, so I, I'm i not moving from zone to zone, so I can move to this hex. Uh, maybe I can't. Yeah, I can. And then, since he's pointed down here, I think I can move into this hex. No, I, w I could maybe if I had some movement, but I don't. All right. So we're going to put this guy, we're going to try to put him in line. Oh, he doesn't disorder. Gee, why not? Everybody else did. Okay. Uh, he's disordered in column. And this guy's not. Boom. So we'll melee him. This guy isn't going to move much, but it'll be something. Okay. And I'll unlimber. Then I can move this guy out of the way and bombard him with artillery. Move this supply. Uh, piddly engineer. I'll move him around and try to flank that guy. Okay. It's looking good. Now, well, we've got a column here. 
line. A routed column. Oh, this is going to be sweet. Boom, let's get in there and mix it up. Got two skirmishers here. Oh, what a shame. I've got two line units. Got a column here. Column. Disordered column. And one point of the opposite direction. Well, let's see. Let's turn this one click to the left. Ah! Turned them the wrong way. Well, I'm screwed now. Why'd I do that? It's not going to have enough movement points. Okay, this guy's in column. So I'm going to turn him the opposite direction. I'll put him in the line. And of course, he disorders. Jesus, everybody's disordered when they're going into line. Uh, makes me weep. Well, he's out of movement. This other guy that's disordered, I'm going to put him down here to try to hold these guys in place. Here's a column that's routed. Okay, this guy's in column. He can go there. I don't think I can put him in line. No, don't have enough movement. How sad. Okay, this guy's in line, so I'm going to turn him one click to the left. And then I'm going to advance him so he can fire on this guy. This guy's in line. Well, I might melee this, uh, these skirmishers here to tighten things up. Now, column, disordered, column, disordered. I got two units I can move. Okay, what do I want with this artillery? These clear hexes down here, clear. Clear. Okay, so I want to get them down here on this high ground. So I can shoot. Uh, can I unlimber them? Yeah. Okay, so these... These two guys, these two battalions, hopefully can push this, uh, these two skirmishers, which are disordered, out of this hex, and I'll occupy this hex, and then I'll have my artillery up there to start shoot, shooting. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking like there's several turns of day. I'm not going to probably be doing anything. Okay, so we've got... Got to get this cavalry unit out of here. So I'll send them around this road. Try to get behind someone here. Wow, he really moves. And I'll move this. Uh, what we got here? <coughs> Wow, we've got a battalion in column, and we've got one in line. I guess that's why they disordered. Moved one on top of another, so I'll bring a column in here. And that takes all my movement. Okay, now what do we got here? Disordered units. Hmm. Let's see if we can move them off the road. No. This guy's in column. This guy's disordered in line. Uh, 
Oh, he's got no movement. Okay. So we've got to go the long way. Oh, this guy's in line. Let's put him in column. He'll be able to move one hex, I think. Yeah. This guy's disordered, so we'll leave him there. This guy's in column. So I'll move him down here. This guy's disordered, so he's of no use. This guy's disordered. Okay, we're looking pretty good. We got these guys surrounded. We've got these guys surrounded up here. And these guys are being held in place. Okay. We've got these two units. This is surrounded. This is going to be surrounded, I hope. Okay, now what are we going to move here? This road is clear. So I think it's a good place to move these units. Move some supply down there. Oh, that stuff really boogies. That's a good road. Move this supply down here parallel with the road. And we'll start moving these units down here. Well, both these battles would be, at this point in time, would be resounding uh, victories. Not the push victories like Napoleon had at uh, Lanay. But th these are, are just, the British army has been cut to shreds, and the Prussian army is getting cut to shreds. If I had the next day, which I'd have the whole morning and half of the afternoon, I think I could finish off both armies, both the Prussians and the British. Because the British have just about everything they have has come up. And what do they have? Hardly anything. They're just barely holding on north of Quarter Bra, and that's it. Everything else is rubbed out. So... Uh, in this game, AI fights to the last man. But if this was the historical, Wellington would head towards the canal ports immediately with the remnants of his army. And the Prussians, too, would be thinking about running away. Now, Blucher was a real nut job. He was worse than they. Because the only uh, order he understood was attack. And he was kind of a fool. Because Nisnow pretty much ran the army. And they just used Blucher like a prop. Oh, what's the supply you doing it out here? Let's move him close to somebody. And so Nisnow would plan out all the moves of the army and and Blucher would just uh, you know go to the head unit kind of like Ney he would grab a sword and then he'd say follow me and you know nice now was the one when the horses kicked Blucher in the head there at Lene which made him goofier than he was. Nice now was running the army, and he's the one that retreated it to uh, Vavra. Yeah, and I think Blucher went full nuts after the battle. Well, after the like a year later, and then he died, I think, pretty quick. He only, he only lasted like a year or two after the Waterloo. <clears throat> and Wellington 
turned out to be useless. He went into Parliament. I think he became Prime Minister, but he was pretty much a useless old fart. time. At least I'll get to uh, one last round of shooting. Actually, this AI does fight like Blucher, but he sure doesn't fight like Wellington. But he, he charges in with anything at hand, no matter how reckless, gets surrounded most times. But he is just like Blucher. But Wellington was Wellington was like Montgomery during World War II. He only liked to attack if he outnumbered the enemy ten to one. And and he had a lot in common with McClellan during the Civil War. They sat on their butt until they had every last man from 500 miles around, and then he'd reluctantly move. The Montgomery's performance at uh, the Battle of the Bulge was typical. He just sat on his ass, and he kept reinforcing his army, and he was afraid to go tiptoe out there to engage the Germans. Whereas Patton, he was he was all set to, to cut the Germans off at the shoulder, but Ike and Bradley says, oh, no, 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 don't do that. It's too risky. They were a lot like Montgomery. I shouldn't be talking about another war, but Eisenhower is, was worthless. I know no one's watching these videos. I think one guy looked at them, but that's okay. I'm going to keep making them. Because with the software, it really doesn't take any more time to make a video, so I might as well. Maybe sometime someone might look at them. But the next time, I guess I'll fight Waterloo and Vavra. If I fought it after this battle, maybe there's a a scenario where the Prussians don't show up because the Prussians would have never showed up. In fact, the British would have been way too weak to hold the line. Uh, looks like we're at the end of things here at Waterloo. So they would they would have just I don't know what they would have done. Gone to Brussels. Just kept going. Okay, so that's gonna be the end of this turn.